let's understand the most important property in similarity. This is the heart of similarity, scale factor. Now scale factor defines the similarity, the extent of similarity of the two objects or especially the two triangles. So what is the scale factor? What is it about that it is so much connected with similarity is the biggest question of the topic scale factor. So let's see the definition of scale factor through similarity of triangles. So let's consider two triangles ABC and A dash B dash and C dash assumed to be similar to each other. So in this case triangle ABC is similar to triangle A dash B dash and C dash. So in this case as we have seen that corresponding angles are equal for two similar triangles the definition of this equal to this and this equal to this and finally this equal to this. Therefore the corresponding angles are equal. Now coming to the second property of similarity the corresponding sides are in same ratio. Therefore considering the corresponding sides AB by A dash B dash will be equal to BC by B dash C dash and AC equals A dash C dash. Now as I see that the three ratios are equal in their own means through equality then this must be equal to a common value say a k. So the values as obtained for each of the ratio is k when I equate this entirely to k and this k is called the scale factor. Scale factor is that quantity which multiplies to one side with this. So in this case this being the scale factor. Now what is the significance of scale factor? Note k which is called the scale factor decides or the value of k decides the extent to which the object enlarges or becomes smaller than the original object. So the value of k strictly depends on decides on how much big the object enlarges or how much smaller the object compresses compared to its original object. It is a very important property in geometrical concept of understanding the sim similarity of two triangles or any two objects through the scale factor. So k decides or the value of k decides the enlargement or compression of the original object is what we understand through the scale factor. Now as I see here what happens when k is greater than 1 or k equal to 1 or k less than 1 is what we are going to see for the session. So let us include three cases through which we understand the scale factor connected with the size of the two objects in similarity of two triangles. Now let us come with three cases of understanding the scale factor. One is k greater than 1, k equal to 1 and k less than 1 are the three different cases which we are going to study through the scale factor. Now when it comes to the scale factor we have already identified a scale factor to be continued from the previous session it is AB by A dash B dash equals BC by B dash C dash and AC by A dash C dash which is equal to the scale factor K is what we have identified for two triangles A, B, C and A dash, B dash, C dash. So let us take case 1 which has k less than 1. So when this value of k is less than 1 then each of this will be less than the other side. 
So k less than 1 implies my AB, the length of AB is less than A dash B dash as I can clearly see here and my length BC is less than B dash C dash and my length AC is less than A dash C dash. So what do I understand from this concept of AB less than A dash B dash? That means the length of AB is smaller than the length of A dash B dash. Therefore, when I convert this into a triangle, I understand that the triangle which I consider originally is smaller than the triangle which I consider in the second stage. In similarity, the original triangle is smaller than the triangle which is enlarged. Therefore, for k less than 1, I get this increasing, the object increases or enlarges. When k is greater than 1, it diminishes. It, this object will be smaller than this because of its sides being greater. Is how we understand the case one where triangle A dash B dash C dash is enlarged for k less than 1 is how I conclude case 1. So the second triangle A dash B dash C dash is enlarged for k less than 1. 1 is case 1. Now let's take the second case of k equal to 1. So if k equal to 1 implies exactly when I substitute equal to 1 here, each of the ratio here gives me AB equals A dash B dash and my BC equals B dash C dash and my AC equals A dash C dash is how I get the three sides equal. That means the object neither increases nor decreases, neither enlarges nor compresses, so that I get the same object. Therefore, k equal to 1 implies the object has retained its shape in this manner, is how we understand. That means when k is equal to 1, the two triangles are congruent, this is also one of the things I can say k equal to 1 implies the two triangles are congruent. Similarity reduces to congruency. This is how we understand the difference. For k equal to 1 is what we understand as case 2 of scale factor. So let's take the case 3 of the scale factor where k is greater than 1. So in this case, k greater than 1 clearly reduces the three ratios equated to k as AB, the length AB is greater than the length A dash B dash, one of the side is greater, similarly the other side also is greater than, it's enlarged and thirdly AC is greater than A dash C dash. That means each of the sides of the original triangle are greater than the triangle which is obtained in its similarity. That means the triangle diminishes for the original triangle. Therefore, when I have k greater than 1 implies this is ABC and this similar diminishes to the original triangle. So this is a diminished image of this is how we understand when k is greater than 1 because each of the sides of this is greater than this therefore it makes the object reduced in size this is how we understand for the case 3 k greater than 1. So each of the three cases have their own understanding of the sizes of similarity of two triangles where for k less than 1 the triangle the original triangle is smaller than the triangle which is enlarged that is a dash b dash c dash for k equal to 1 the two triangles are in equal size that is the two triangles are congruent to each other when k is greater than 1 i get a diminished image of the original triangle abc where it shrinks or compresses with all its sides reducing in size each of the sides are reduced in size to the original sides of the given triangle is how we understand all the three cases connected with scale factor. So with this, we understand clearly that scale factor has a very important role in understanding 
to what extent the object is enlarged or diminished using the value of the scale factor. Say my, for example, I have k equal to 2. So k is greater than 1. So when k is 2, each of the length doubles twice. That is, when I have k equal to 2 here, that means I get AB is twice A dash B dash. That is, each of the side is double to this. Therefore, as the value of k increases, the object size diminishes to that extent. Now, as the value of k decreases, the object size increases as compared to the original triangle. In each case of this, for example, k equal to 2 implies each of the side is twice of the image size or each of the a side a dash b dash is half of the original sides. So this will be half of this when k is 2. If k is 100, the this side will be 100th of the size of each of the sides of the given triangle. That means larger the higher the value of k, smaller is the triangle, more it diminishes is what we understand in the concept of proportionately increasing value of k. So lesser the value of k, more larger and larger is the image of the similar triangle is how we understand between the value of k and its enlargement connected with the value of k.